Hi everyone, this video was sort of supposed to be like how you can go away somewhere in Europe or on holiday on a budget. So we went to Poland and we spent about £110 for a weekend away. So I guess this video could sort of be like how you can go to Europe and only spend a certain amount of money or how you can go to Europe on a budget, how you can go anywhere on a budget. Or I actually realised when I got to Poland that Poland's actually quite cheap. So this could sort of tell you how cheap Poland is because I sort of run over the different prices of everything. But mainly in this video I'm going to be going over all the different prices of how much we spent on flights, accommodation and transport transport, spending money, food, all that sort of thing in Poland. But then also I'm going to let you know how we did things in a more budget way. So how we saved money. We tried to go for the cheaper options. So this video is just going to give you some tips on how you can do that. So yeah, let's get into the video. The first thing is the flights. So most of the time I always use Skyscanner and if I don't really know where I'm going, I'll use the everywhere feature. So if you don't know what that is, you just put your place where you live or where you're going from to everywhere and then it shows all the different prices for all the different locations. So it'll rate the cheapest to the most expensive and you can click on those countries and then it will show the cities and their prices. So I was sort of just playing around with that one day and I came across Poland and I clicked in and it showed all the different cities and one of them came up and it was Wroclaw where we went in the end and it said 70 quid. Clicked on it just to see what the flight times were and it actually came up with 20 quid for the prices of the flights and I was just like what? Wait what? What's happened? So usually this happens the other way where you'll see a cheap price and you'll click into it and actually it's more expensive but normally it never happens this way so I was like oh my god I need to book this ASAP. So that's my first tip is to make sure you just play around with Sky Santa, click on all the prices, click on different destinations and different dates as well. That's a good way to find cheaper flights and just click on everything like I did and maybe you'll come across one that's just hasn't shown the right price and it's actually a lot cheaper. So we found a cheap flight for 20 quid each and if you don't know, Ryanair actually charge extra for you to take a carry-on bag. So the only bag you're allowed to take on for free is a small bag that fits under the seat in front of you. Now, I made a whole video about this, so I'll link it in the cards above so that you can, you know, learn how to pack minimalistically so that you can save money. But I didn't want to pay extra for, you know, taking a bag with me. I wanted to keep the price of the flight 20 quid. So that's what you also can do to save money. Otherwise, we would have had to pay maybe like 17 quid, I think, to get priority and a check-in bag. So that saved us money as well. Okay, so next is accommodation. And most of the time, if I'm staying with Joel and we're going somewhere, we usually stay in an Airbnb. But if I was on my own or with friends, I would always definitely suggest searching around and seeing what the cheapest option for accommodation is. Usually it will be a hostel, but it really depends on how many people you're with. Sometimes it actually ends up being the same price or cheaper if you stay in an Airbnb. Good thing was is that Poland, that city in particular that we went to was relatively cheap anyway. And we found a really nice one bedroom Airbnb for 88 pounds and 90 pence for three nights. So that's quite a good deal. And then also because someone had used my Airbnb referral link, and went on a trip I got 15 pounds off because I had a 15 pound credit so make sure you check out the link below if you haven't signed up with Airbnb yet you'll get 25 pounds off your first day with Airbnb so that's a good way of saving money if you haven't signed up yet so it actually brought the price down to 72 pounds and 90 pence which means it was 36 pounds and 95 pence for the each of us so let's just round that up and say 37 pounds each so my tips for accommodation would be making sure that you put filters on when you are searching for accommodation so I'll have like a certain amount that I want to spend and then I also put the view to map view just so I can see where everything is and I can see all the prices on the screen and I can select an Airbnb that's a good price for me and in a good location and then also if you want to book a hotel or something else or a hostel make sure you always compare prices on different websites it might might be cheaper to book directly so that's my three tips make sure you use the most cheapest accommodation you can compare different websites book directly if possible and if it's cheapest okay so now our total comes to 57 pounds for our flats and accommodation okay so next is sort of like the spending money section so first I'll talk about transport I always suggest using public transport or walking everywhere because either it will be free because you're walking or it'll be less expensive than an Uber or a taxi, most of the time cheaper to get public transport. But I do have to say that you make sure you just shop around and check the prices for both because sometimes in some cities that are quite expensive, it might actually cost you maybe the same or even like a tiny bit more to get an Uber and then you have the convenience of getting an Uber. But yeah, just make sure you search around. That's what I always try and preach, I guess, is just do your research. 
do your research. So when we arrived, instead of taking a, a taxi from the airport and there was a bus that went directly from the airport to where we wanted to go, I think we were going to go straight to dinner in, in the town and it took about 30 minutes and for Rutz Love, where we stayed, it only cost us 60p each. So it was an absolute steal and it was a 30 minute bus ride. So if we're just gonna chat about Poland for a second in particular, they use an app called Jackdo Jade, which you can download through the app store. You can plan your whole journey. So it will show you the trams and the buses as well. So that's what I did. So I knew what bus to get and how much it was gonna cost. Next is food. And I mean, this is like the most important thing. So I always try my best to research what are the local dishes I should be trying in a place that I go to. And then also I try and figure out where I can eat those dishes at local restaurants because they will always usually be cheaper if it's the local dish and it's from a local restaurant than a touristy place. In regards to food, make sure you go and check out my Wroclaw Poland foodie tour as well. I've made a video about that. So in a proper sit down restaurant, we only spent about 20 pounds and that was for two main courses and two drinks. And sometimes there was a starter in there as well. And on the first night, we actually had a massive meal. Like I couldn't even finish it. So you get quite a lot for your money in Wroclaw in Poland in particular. And my second tip is to make your own food if possible. I felt like Poland was quite cheap so we didn't really have to but I guess maybe this is a good thing if you're traveling long term or if you're traveling in a more expensive country you're probably better off to make your own food because eating out will be expensive in those countries. A thing that we ended up doing which we didn't actually end up doing it purposely but it sometimes happens is that we end up getting up late so we end up having quite a late breakfast and then we end up having kind of like an early lunch. So really we're only paying for two meals or having two meals in a day. On the Saturday when we were there we ended up going on our own little bar crawl Vodka tasting and vodka in Poland only cost one pound, just FYI so so cheap. Last one is activities and we didn't really end up doing that many activities because it was January so a lot of things don't really run in January. Um, we would have really liked to have done like a boat canal sort of cruise but none of those were running but we did go up the tower. I don't remember the name of the tower. Got a really nice viewpoint of Wroclaw and that was only two pounds so that was quite a cheap attraction and I think a viewpoint really pays off. Like I think they're the best kind of things to do when you're somewhere just going up somewhere and seeing a really pretty view view of where we where uh, seeing a really pretty view of where you are and also I would suggest doing a walking tour you can find free walking tours in a lot of places and usually at the end you only have to tip so it's a still a small amount of money and then also another activity that I guess kind of goes along with food and saving money is have a picnic if it's really nice weather make your own food buy your own food and you'll save money and then have a really nice picnic I'm sure everyone suggests doing that in Europe okay and that concludes my video yeah so I hope it's giving you some budget tips and I hope it's helped you if you are going to Poland this sort of helps to show you how cheap Poland really is we only spent 110 pounds each for absolutely everything so yeah I hope it's given you a little insight and how you can travel quite cheaply and you know you can just do different things that will save you money here and there it might only be a small amount but it does really add up if you are traveling quite often like I do like I like to be able to go away often I actually got a comment on one of my videos recently like saying why the hell would you want to go away and save money and I'm just like so that I can go away more often Duh. don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it and like this video as well and also make sure you go and follow me on Instagram the link will be below I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on Instagram that's my goal and then also a thousand followers subscribers on YouTube because I'm nearly there I'm at about 900 at the moment so I would like it if you did those things anyway I'll see you guys soon bye